Constant training is a big part of being a Royal Oak firefighter. And thanks to a little help from Ford, Royal Oak firefighters got a chance to practice their vehicle extrication skills on some of the newest cars available, using some of the newest equipment available. Okay, good. Other way. Good morning. I'm uh, Lieutenant Scott McLeod with the Shelby Township Fire Department. Uh, I was also asked to come out to do a training class for the Royal Oak Fire Department today in vehicle extrication, uh, more specifically in new vehicle technology extrication. Uh, they've recently purchased some new hydraulic jaws of life tools to be able to combat the challenges that new vehicles pose, uh, the increased strength, the design of the vehicles, as well as the dangers possibly posed by the supplemental restraint system, such as their airbags and how those pose dangers to both the firefighters as well as the patients. So today we kind of did some demonstrations to show where the airbags were at. We deployed airbags to get them to be able to visualize what those dangers were and how they did affect us. And then get a chance to cut on these new vehicles because they are so drastically different than things that were built even a couple years ago and consequently the techniques that we've always learned and how we've trained don't always work as good as uh, on these new vehicles. Ford brought us out some cars and they uh, usually when we get cars to practice on they're old junker cars that have been in accidents already usually they're older cars the newer technology that they're that they're using uh, all the car manufacturers are using not just Ford they're much much stronger uh, different steel they use a steel called boron steel it's a lot it's a lot harder our older tools were not strong enough to keep pace with the new technology uh, for the new safety regulations. So seeing our new tools at work on new cars uh, with the harder steel is the biggest thing that, that uh, I, I think we got out of this evolution. This is some of the first practice we've had with our new um, uh, battery operated tools and, uh, and, and seeing how some of our old tools would have not even come close to matching up against the stronger steel is, uh, is quite mind-blowing for somebody who's been in this business for 14 years now. 